So traders, I want to welcome you to the webinar event. We're going to be focusing today on the Prop Trader program here at Neuro Street. My name is Sean Kozak. I'm the founder of NSTA. I've got Jim Simmons on the mic here. Jim, you can come in and say hello if you want. I'm sure if he's there hey. or not. Hey, yep. traders, how's everyone doing? Fantastic. We're going to kick things off here with a quick disclaimer before we get into the 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 main main criteria of the event. And uh, the real the realization is is we've put together a program. It's probably the most, I guess you would say, comprehensive, but yet most engaged program in the in the in the course of our you know our business. We've got so many traders in our prop trader program right now that are doing things that have never happened before in their lives, and I think it's time that we kind of share some of the success and some of the the environments that, that, that we've been able to achieve in, in, in our programs and such, and also in our classrooms, right. In our trade rooms and in the back end. So uh, for those of you, is anybody here trading for, for any prop firms right now, or anybody trying to take evaluations or get funded? Can you guys give me a yes? If that's kind of where you're at right now, that's, that's what this entire event is about. Okay. Steve says you were, Charles says, yes. Well, while you guys are here, I'm going to put the disclaimer up. John says, I failed my evals. Okay. That's why we're here. Loads of them. Okay. Tilapia said I failed 10 times. Okay. Excellent. Blew up a performance account, John. Yeah, I, I've been there. I know what that feels like. <laughs> I understand all too well, so I can, re I can relate with you, so I can speak from perspective. And I think that's the most important part is if you're going to learn from people that, that can actually relate with you. I think that's really, really important. Okay. So we can't guarantee anything, guys. This is a business of risk. This is a business of financial trading. But what we can do is we can guarantee that we're going to teach you a heck of a lot more than you know. We're going to share our experience. And we're only going to talk about the success of our users. I'm not really here to tell you how good I am or how good Jim is because, you know, one trader is nothing, right? But when you can share the success of a bunch of people that are in our environments doing something right, I think it's important to, to kind of maybe take the blinders off a bit and accept that, hey, maybe there's a better way to do things. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna go into detail today. So just make sure that if you are trading, you do trade with risk capital that you can afford to lose. You know, we're not here to give you advice and we're not your broker or CTA and all that fun stuff, okay? So we've got an agenda, we're gonna go through it quickly because I really wanna get into the meat and potatoes of the stuff that we're talking about. Um, you know, go over some details of who we are, um, you know, talk about what a funding company's job is really. And then the, the problem that most of us are faced with in that space. And then what I'd like to do is I'd like to talk to you how the, the prop trader program kind of evolved into what it is. Right. And I was talking with Jim about this and it's kind of interesting because most people don't know what we actually did before creating it to be able to allow us the opportunity to do what we're doing. Um, we're going to talk about the opportunities in education and our live trading room. And then we're going to go into how to get funded and stay funded. We're going to talk about a lot of winning opportunities and some examples of, uh, you know, trades that, you know, that a lot of traders take. And we're going to talk about, you know, the, the, the testimonials from the people that are actually in our program that are actually trading funded accounts and, and doing all that fun stuff. And then we're going to go into some, some special pricing. We've got a really good discount on right now for our prop program, which I think you guys will be very well acclimated to. And, and, and we can kind of go into that as well. So if it, at the end of the questions, if you've got questions or if you want to go over details or if you need any assistance, you know, just type them in the chat box. If I don't get to them right away, we will. And then ultimately, uh, we'll, go over, we'll go over some details here at the end of the event. Okay, can you guys give me a yes? You guys are ready to get started. I want to make sure that you guys are good to go. Johnny on it. You guys are ready. It's a Monday. Um, you know, we're, we're, going to be, uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about what happened in the evolution of this. Neuro Street has been around for a long time. Uh, you know, we're one of the big players in the in the space in terms of education. We've got a lot of users, a lot of success, a lot of software. Uh, we've developed over, I think, 75 products on five trading platforms. And we've really kind of gotten a name for custom algorithms, indicators, uh, trader education. And uh, there's a lot of great companies out there, but we're definitely one of the big ones, right? And, and we pride ourselves on that because ultimately we do care about our students and we definitely, uh, we, we practice what we preach, so to speak, right? Like you, you're learning from traders that are actually trading. You're learning from people that know what the heck's going on and you're actually not just sitting there listening to people selling courses, okay? Uh, that being said, we've partnered with Apex. Uh, there's a reason for it. We're gonna talk about Apex Trader Funding. Daryl Martin over there, he's done a great job with his funding firm. 
Uh, we are partnered with a lot of firms, but we're going to talk about why we've chosen Apex to be our preferred funding partner for the prop firm uh, program and ultimately uh, what that means and why we were, we're at an advantage with that, right? And why they bring an advantage to the game. And we're going to talk about that. And it's not just, you know, cheap eval prices. It's not just discounts. There's actually some advantages that they offer traders that are, uh, are, are very, very important to understand. And then Arc AI, uh, one of our development companies, and uh, you know, you know, development teams that build indicators and algos for all of the companies that we work with, um, they've got some amazing products that we've integrated into our prop program. Uh, over and above Neural Street indicators, they've we've brought in some systems, we've brought in some tools that they've really, really developed with our team, myself included. And you know, it's interesting how things happen. You know, we were building some systems and we didn't realize that what we had was really, really amazing. And, and we didn't really see it until all of a sudden we started seeing a ton of traders trading it. And, you know, that's kind of how things happen. Sometimes it's a blessing in disguise, right? You, you, you have some great indicators, but you don't realize you've got gold there. And if you don't keep digging, you just give up right before the end. And then all of a sudden, if you just sort of took a couple more steps, you would have hit gold, right? And uh, the truth is, is that's what happened. We, we, we were building products with ARC we developed some systems and all of a sudden we're like, holy man, this is amazing. And uh, we started putting it in the hands of a bunch of our traders and they just, we never seen such success across so many users, right? And that was what was interesting to us is we, we've been doing this a long time and some of the systems that we brought in with ARC, we had traders that were struggling for a very, very long period of time that were no longer struggling. They were trading very well and they were, they were reporting success that we've never seen. And then when we started running our chat rooms with those systems, traders started like just posting their results. And, and it's, it's, it's interesting because when you see results from one trader or two traders, it's like, okay, yeah, they're just good traders. When you start seeing results from a whole bunch of traders and it's consistently staying that way, then you really know that everybody's catching on to it and it's, it's actually being adapted, right? And, and it's actually learnable. It's re 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 replaceable, <laughs> uh, replicable, I guess you'd say, or <laughs> I think I'm using the wrong word, but you know what I mean, right? You guys can replicate it, replicatable. There you go. <laughs> and, uh, and that's kind of why I want to just talk about that, that, that unison of, of companies that we've come together to build this program. And so, you know, it's not just Neural Street, it's all three of us working together to be able to bring a solution to the space with regards to futures prop firm trading. So <laughs> I want to kind of go into the, the, the truth though, okay? So we can talk about success, we're going to get into trading, we're going to get into all that stuff, but I do want to talk about a few things before we get into some examples. And when you're a trader, the problem, you know, everybody thinks, oh, it's just the stop outs or, you know, it's just, you know, it's me or whatever the... There's a few things going on underneath, inside. <laughs> and there's a lot of lies that we tell ourselves that they're, they're normally a result of belief systems that have been learned behaviors, right? And um, so a couple of them that we see a lot of is, you know, we need to risk a lot to make a lot of money. And the reality is that you don't need to risk a lot to make a lot of money if you actually know what's going on. And, and, and we'll teach that and we can get into that. Um, the other thing too is we need to know what the markets will do. You actually don't need to know what the markets will do. And if you try to put yourself into that environment where you feel like you have to be the market master and you always need to understand what's going on, that's not always the case because you can make a lot of money out of the market just taking patterns and trading certain patterns without having to be right about the trends, without having to be right about the market. You just need to know how to exploit a pattern that's repeatable, that repeats itself over and over and take little pieces out of the market. And, you know, the, the difference is a lot of traders think they need to trade trends or they need to trade reversals or they need to label themselves as a specific type of, of trader. The problem is that, that you don't. You don't need to be one style of trader. You just need to understand the signal that you're trading and understand why that system is doing what it's doing. And then you need to exploit that signal. <laughs> and another one is you need large R multiples to be acceptable, to be successful. Trading for really big risk reward ratios can be done. And it's not that it's wrong. You see it often in Forex. You know, you see a lot of people will post these large trades. You risk a dollar to make 10, 10 R, right? <laughs> it, you know, in a perfect world, that's great. Even trying to get, uh, you know, two to one, three to one in a, in a, in a futures environment, it's a huge trade. But the problem in prop traders environment or with futures trading, with, especially with proprietary firms like Apex or even some of the others that are out there, is they have a thing called a trailing drawdown. 
And a lot of times when you hold on for large trades, you will sit through a trade and all of a sudden it'll be going in your direction. And then you can still have a trade come back and pull back on some of your profits. You may not even get stopped out, but you don't even realize that that pullback in a profitable trade is working against you in terms of the risk rules in the evals or the funding companies. And this is one of the reasons why traders need to get good at getting in and getting out of the market quickly, consistently. It's not about big R multiples and all this stuff that you hear in the, the normal, you know, Norman nomenclature of the trading jargon, right? Like in the events, everybody talks, you don't need to be right to be make money. You actually do need to be right to make money in this business. You need to take winning trades and you need to get good at taking profit. And so normally you'll see traders that are trading for evals in the future space are normally going to be trading for higher win rate systems because the prop traders are actually looking for traders that are trying to, that are actually consistently hitting because they don't want to bank on those traders that maybe you'll get it right once in a while and make all their money on a random trade. They actually want to see that you have a consistent edge and you're exploiting that edge. So, so this is where we come in in a different perspective because, you know, a lot of traders <laughs> will develop unhealthy belief systems that will sabotage the trading, okay? And what will happen is fear, anxiety, a lot of revenge trading, emotions. If you don't see success immediately taking place, what ends up happening is you end up making serious mistakes. And those mistakes will, will normally kick you out of an eval or even a performance account. And then all of a sudden you feel like, you know, you're, you just feel like a failure. How many of you guys have ever just felt like, you know what? I don't get it. Like I'm good at everything else, but why am I struggling here? Has anybody ever felt like that? The emotional overwhelm of just, you know, feeling not good enough, or maybe you just feel like, you know, I don't know why this is happening, but it's, you know, these types of things. And, you know, I just, I just really, I just really want you to know that you're not the only, uh, <laughs> only one. Right. And normally it's a result of just, you know, having to let go of what's not working for you. And being willing to say, okay, I'm willing to learn something new. I've got to try something. Everything you've done in the past is not worthless. So I don't want you to think that all the learning or all of the education you've maybe paid for or any of the indicators or systems you've invested money in, it's not a waste. It just may not be what was meant for you to be successful. And so that's what we're going to do today is we're going to open up some paradigms and we're going to open up a different opportunity. So in order to do that, you need to relate with how everybody else is also in the same boat as you. And I think this is super, super important. Normally when a trader gets started in the prop environment, this is not just trading for yourself, but the prop environment. What happens is a trader will normally start and you'll start and be like, I hope this trade is working, right? A lot of traders will get into this environment where they'll say, okay, you know, uh, I got started. I, I just got my evals, I'm ready to go. And then what ends up happening is you, you, you kick things off. You're like, okay, I hope this trade works. You get in your first trade. And then all of a sudden you get stopped out. Maybe you had a win, but maybe you didn't. And then all of a sudden you get stopped out again. And you're like, okay, well, that didn't go as planned. And, you know, never really feels good to get kicked out or of a trade and get stopped out. Nobody likes, you know, getting stopped out. But the reality is, is, and you don't have to believe the bullshit that everybody says, guys. Like if someone ever says, oh, you know, just accept it. It's the business. Yeah, it's part of the business, but it's really not a comfortable part of it. So it's not that you have to be really, really, you know, <laughs> that perfect emotional human being that is always going to get your emotions under check, right? Like you have to be honest with yourself and accept the reality that stop out suck. And, you know, you just have to really get better at trading, not just sitting there making excuses, right? And uh, the key here is that, you know, when you get out of that and you start feeling like you got another win, you know, everybody feels that euphoria, right? And you're like, okay, perfect. And all of a sudden you get stopped out again. And you're like, well, what the, you know what? I thought I had this stuff figured out, right? And then you come back into the game and you're like, okay, finally. And maybe you're not up a little bit of money. Maybe you're only a break even right now. And then all of a sudden you get, you stop out again. And you're like, this is where you, you, you really, really feel like frustrated. And you know, it's hard because sometimes this could be over a span of a week or even two weeks. Maybe you have a couple winning days and you're like, finally. And then all of a sudden something happens and the market just throws you a no, you know what? And then you get into that last point 
And then all of a sudden you're like, okay, I'm just going to give it another shot. And then all of a sudden it's like, okay, if I just would have stuck to my rules, right. You know, maybe I would have gotten ahead, but you start breaking rules and all of a sudden it just becomes a downward spiral. And you know, the truth is I actually hate that part of the business. I actually don't like that people go through this in this industry. I, you know, I was having a discussion with one of the people that work in our business and we were talking about it and we're saying, you know, it's like, everybody says, you know, this is a hard business, but if we can just get out of that rat race of win, loss, win, loss, win, loss, win, loss, and we can find a better path. Isn't that what we all want? Can you guys give me a yes that you're, you, you can relate with this roller coaster. Anybody here relate with this roller coaster, <laughs> right? Anybody here getting sick and tired of being sick and tired. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the guy on the mic guys that I'm not here to make friends. I'm not here to be, be, you know, perfect. I'm not here to give you a bunch of bullshit. I'm going to speak to you as a real trader. I trade. I know what it's like. I understand the business. I understand it all too well. Nobody needs somebody on the mic telling them some, you know, hocus pocus, you know, you don't know what, right? What we need is we need a real traders helping traders get to where they need to be. And that's exactly what we're here to do. Okay. So this is what we call a negative feedback loop. Okay. And you know, it's designed to fail from the start, okay? <laughs> the truth is the market is not geared towards small lot traders trying to swing for the fences. Like, if you think about this, if you're putting on a position, okay? Like if you're putting on a position, right? And the market's going down and you're putting on a long <laughs> and you're aiming for way up here and you're hoping that it's always going to do that every single day. <clears throat> I got news to tell you. It's not happening. It's not happening. Because you, that means you're always trying to hit home runs all the time. And you're going to hit a home run once in a while. But that's not trading. That's not prop trading. So what ends up happening, you're never going to be able to get to where you need to be if you're always trying to swing for these really big trades or trying to swing for these big R multiples. Because prop trading is not about that. And fortunately, that's what most people think it is. And because that's what normally most people learn in the trading space, but that's not how it is if you're trading for other people's money. And so what we're going to do, especially not in futures for Forex, it's a different game, right? But in futures, it's not geared that way. So what we're going to do is, you know, we're going to talk about like, how is it actually even possible to make money as a futures trader trading for, for prop firms, right? Cause that's the goal is you want to get funded. So, you have to understand the edge that you're trading. And we're going to talk about the process here. You can't predict the market every single time, but you don't have to. You don't need to be right all the time. We don't need to know what the market's going to do. We just need to be able to predict a pattern, okay, that repeats itself. And the pattern needs to appear on a regular basis. It can't be just a pattern that randomly happens. It has to be something that is happening all the time. Not, not just, okay, I, that was a really good trade and it feels like that's going to happen all the time, et cetera, et cetera. No, it has to happen every day because if not, you don't have a business, right? And that's the truth is if you don't have a pattern that's repeating itself every single day, then you don't have a business. And if you don't have a business, you can't rely on it. But the key here is that you need to be able to understand that your job isn't to take that pattern and be the next Houdini of the market. You need to be able to take a little bit out of the market from that pattern and be able to say, okay, I have discipline. I'm going to stop trading and then wait for the next pattern to come. Because if you don't, you're going to be trying to be the Babe Ruth and you're going to get kicked out of the vowels. You're going to get kicked out of the evals. Okay, so why don't we talk a little bit about that? How much money do you actually need to be to be a very consistent trader? Let me just kind of talk about this. Okay, so what if all you were doing, like, think about this for a second. Like, I know it's hard and maybe you've heard this before, but what if you were to only take a couple ticks out of the market, like just a couple ticks? Okay, and if you were to say risk a dollar to make 50 cents. You know, a lot of people are like, no freaking way, right? But 
my question for you would be, why not? Is it because somebody told you that it's not a profitable business model? Is it because somebody said that you need to have, you know, higher win rates to be successful, right? Like what's wrong with having a higher win rate? People think you need to be right. No, you don't need to be. Being right does not necessarily mean you have a high win rate. A high win rate means that you're exploiting a pattern that has a, that has a high strike rate. It doesn't mean you are right about the market. You could hit your target and be completely against bias. You could easily take a piece out of the market and be completely against what's going on, but your, your pattern is still producing an edge. And this is the difference between someone that understands pattern recognition and ultimately just being okay with taking a crumb out of the market, being able to take a little piece out of the market. But if you do that with a high strike rate, okay, you can maintain your trailing drawdown because I'll give you an example. If you're trading and then you get a buy signal and you get your, you get your profit, okay? You get your profitable trade, right? Okay, that's perfect. Let's say trader number one takes their target. He's out. He took his ticks out of the market. For somebody that's trying to trade and always be right of the market or go for these big targets or always trying to think that you need to risk a dollar to make three, <laughs> right? Well, here's my thoughts. If you don't understand what's going on in terms of the prop firm evals, then you're never going to be able to get through the evals and let alone stay funded. Many traders will get through the evals, but they blow out the evals because they can't stay funded. And here's my re here's the reality of that the trader that didn't take the same that took the same trade, okay, he took the same bounce. Let's say he took it, it pulled back, took it, and then it pulled back again, break even. Okay, you're still not losing money, but let me explain what just happened from this high watermark to here. Your trailing drawdown that was way down here with the prop firms went up like this. It's here now, but because you didn't get out of your trade and it went back to break even, you didn't maybe lose any money, but now you have way less wiggle room with the prop firms because they're like, this guy doesn't know how to take profits. So we're going to tighten his wrists. And inevitably, everybody thinks, oh, the prop firms are out to get me. Their models are against me. Their, their risk management rules are so strict. Let me ask you this. If you're a prop firm that's going to give you a half a million dollars worth of accounts, why do they want to bank on traders that are giving back their profits to the market? They don't because that's not a good business for them, <laughs> right? And they actually want successful traders. I know a lot of people think that prop firms don't want you to pass their evals because they make so, many, so much money on the resets, which is true. They make millions of dollars on traders failing. But if you actually are the prop firm, what they're trying to do is truly find good talent because what they're doing is they're gonna copy your accounts. If you're a good trader, they're going to put big leverage behind you. Once you're funded for a couple months and they see that you've got consistency, every time you take a trade, they're going to copy those accounts with hundreds of thousands of dollars. They want you to pass, but they have to be strict with their risk management. So this is why we're doing an event like this is because nobody else in this industry is teaching this right. Nobody else in this business is teaching this properly. Okay. So here's my thoughts. If all you did was take a couple ticks out of the market, okay, and if you were to do that starting small, and then once you get good, like once you really get freaking good at just taking a few ticks out of the market, I'll tell you my, my reality. I, I, uh, I like to be right. Like, you know, I'm good at a lot of things. I'm going to speak my own personal truth here. When I'm wrong, I don't like it. Or when I get stopped out, I get pretty emotional. And the truth is, is that this type of trading helps fix the emotions as long as you have the discipline to not just start over trading. Because what happens a lot of times, traders will take their profit, they'll bank their cash, but then they'll have a hard time sitting on their hands and waiting for the pattern again. And what ends up happening is they'll just place random trades and that'll work against you. So the goal is to really just get good at taking a few ticks at the right time and then 
scaling that with the proper discipline to not over trade outside of those strategies. Okay. And so if you can train yourself to exploit a pattern that can just give you a few ticks a day and you're good at just taking a few ticks, then you need to learn about the compounding effect of scaling. Okay. And we're going to talk about now. I know everybody says the, you know, the vision, oh my God, just trade 10 contracts. You never want to start trading 10 contracts until you've proven that you're actually able to scale one lots. And this is where our program is going to blow you away because here's what we've done. We've built an entire business around teaching traders how to make really, really, really big money trading small size. And you're going to be like, well, how is that possible? And I'm going to teach you today because most people don't even understand that it is possible. Okay. Once you're funded. Okay. Step one is the evals. Okay. Step two is your performance accounts. And then step three is you need to stay there for three months. You need to get through the evals and then hold on to your performance accounts for three months while growing your buffer. And we're going to talk about that so that you can truly get there because most people are psychologically geared around not make, like most people think that $125 is not a lot of money. How many of you guys think $100 is a lot of money? Can you guys just do me a favor and tell me, is $100 a lot of money? Be honest. To me, it's not. Like, it's really not. You cannot, you cannot, to me, $100, you can't even buy groceries with $100. Let's get honest, guys. You cannot buy groceries with $100. You can't fill your car with gas. So why would anybody, why would anybody want to go to work and trade all day and only want to make $100? Well, I'm here to tell you how we're going to take this and I'm going to show you how to scale that $100 without over trading so that you don't have to feel like trading for small ticks for little teeny base hits is not making you a lot of money. Okay, now this is the key, okay guys? So we're gonna talk about this. So this is where we're gonna start shifting a few things. And trust me, what I'm about to show you, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you a few things, okay? There's two types of traders. Trader A, all he needs is to keep things simple. A car, a set of car keys, right? Gas in the car, maybe some Google Maps. And they just get on the road and go. They know where they're going. They're just going to enjoy the drive, right? And then trader B is like that other guy in the car, right? He needs keys, the gas, the maps. He needs an engine manifesto. He needs a manual for the radio and then the manual for the, the transmission. And then a detailed breakdown of the wiring mechanisms and then a backup plan for all the electrical because they're just, they just like to overcomplicate it, right? Now, both traders, okay, are gonna be able to use the car to get to their destination eventually, okay? But the reality is there's one guy that's doing it from a simplistic manner and the other guy's making things really complicated, okay? Making things really, really complicated. And my job is to take trader B because you all have the potential to make really, really good money and actually do this properly with the evals and get funded, but make it simple and do it at scale. How many of you guys feel like you've overcomplicated your trading? You know, you, 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 you try to keep it simple. And then you just go down a rabbit hole because maybe one day it didn't work or maybe you dry you too many charts or too many indicators or if it doesn't work today, then you flip flop. And hey, I get it. I truly, truly get it because we're always trying to find that way to be right. And we're always trying to find that way to develop that edge. Okay. Well, I'm here to share with you that it's not necessarily about being right. It's about letting us help you make it simple. Okay. And then keeping it really, really simple. So here's what we like to do. I like simple strategies. I like keeping things simple. I like producing patterns every day that can be traded. I want an easy to read chart. 
so that ultimately you can make a decision without headaches. You only want to trade a few markets so that you can simply follow them and trade in a comfortable state. I get it. Just because you have a lot of markets doesn't mean you need to trade them all. Now, we need to rely on certain tools to be able to help make our analysis better. That's why we develop software indicators and systems, because our tools are going to help us make those decisions. And then we always want to understand where our trade plan is before you're doing it, because if you don't, then you're truly going to be a reactive trader, not a proactive trader. Okay. Now, the goal is small objectives, small objectives. Every time you take a trade, you want to take it for a few ticks, leave the ego at the door. Okay. Base hits, because what we're going to do is we're going to teach you how to trade for base hits, getting on base, and then we're going to use trade copying software to leverage that across 10 accounts or five accounts, how many you choose to use. And then what we do is we take the need to swing for the fences out of the equation because you can get on base with a $100 trade and that $100 trade can become $1,000 across 10 accounts. And all you had to do was trade for a couple ticks in one account and you've leveraged that across 10 accounts. No longer do you need to be the Babe Ruth and over trade because you could literally trade for $100 trade each day and end the day with $1,000 with a $100 trade. You're like, what are you talking about? We're going to show you. Okay. So before we go and show you how, I want to tell you how the relationship with Apex came to be because not all funding companies are created equal. Okay. We met with every single funding company in the industry. Why? Because I own three trading companies. I have leverage and I have clout. I can go to them, not like regular traders, and I can negotiate deals. I can negotiate risk terms with them. And I can negotiate certain deals for our customers. And I can get the inside details of what they're doing, okay? So that ultimately, you guys can get the best of both worlds. Now. We negotiated on behalf of all the program members because we met with every company and not everybody was willing to play ball. Not everybody to not everybody wanted to do business the way we wanted to offer it to our traders. They're like, no, we're stuck in our ways. We're going to charge this. We're going to keep everybody in our risk management rules. And no, you can't use trade copiers and no, you can't do this. And the problem with that is like, they're not really thinking about the trader. They're not really putting themselves in the user's perspective, which to me is a losing battle, right? And it's not good because companies like myself, educators, I don't want to work in that environment and force my customers to go through those types of environments when the deck stacked against them, okay? We negotiated beta risk metrics so that we could leverage trade copiers and we have wanted to be able to meet with better funding agreements, which means you can get funded faster, you get payouts quicker, you don't have headaches. The key here is multiple accounts. Not every company we met with would allow us to use trade copy software, right? Um, not every company wanted us to teach what we were doing because it was against their rules of, hey, you know, we don't want everybody succeeding like this. We don't want everybody crushing the market. Why do you think that is? Because they're, well, first of all, in my experience, it's just not good business. And, and B, because they make, we, they make a lot of money on the lack of success of traders. Yeah, sure, they want real good traders. Every prop firm wants good traders. But they also don't want to be negligent against the fact that they make a shit ton of money on people failing. That's just the truth. Okay? But... Here's the reality. Apex, I met with Daryl and he's like, you know, we'll meet with you. You can use trade copiers. We have the best funding, right? <clears throat> they have everything in place to be able to do what we wanted to do. Okay. And uh, I feel that they are where you will be treated best. So what we decided to do was do a big partnership deal with them. And why? 
because we have a lot of funded traders in our school and my instructors trade funded accounts in front of traders. So the reason is because we have really good systems and we teach really good edges. Like we have a really good, a few different setups that we teach that are really, 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 really badass. And we're always improvising and always expanding on the things that we teach our users. But we have a process. And the reason we have a process is because the people you're learning from have gone through it and they're successful. And all you need to do is replicate it and just follow what's being done so that you stop trying to reinvent it. I get it. A lot of people want to reinvent it. They think that because they failed, they need to go out and figure it out on their own. Sometimes it's good to just do what other people are doing and be successful. Like you don't need to be ego in this business. You just need to make money. Okay. And we've arranged for special discounts with trade copiers, special discounts with evals, special discounts with ARC indicators and systems so that everybody in our prop program gets the best of all of it. That's the whole reason why at the beginning you, I told you it was an alliance between companies is because we've put together a program that is geared towards the success of prop traders in the future space. There is no other business out there that offers this in a nutshell. It doesn't exist. Okay. So we'll talk about this. When we bring you into the prop program, you're going to have a bunch of education. You're going to have trade copiers. You're going to have software that's available to you. We teach a few different trading systems. We teach uh, a whole lot of, of stuff that you'll never find anywhere else, like volume analysis, uh, Renko analysis, trend line systems, volume rotation systems, SD breaks, divergence. The key here, though, is that you're going to be learning from funded traders because there's a way to get funded and stay funded. And we're really, really proactive in making sure traders know how to trade out of drawdowns and how to manage your trailing drawdowns. And the key here is that you're going to be able to watch traders that are funded trade live in front of you. Okay. Right. You're going to, you're going to watch um, real traders trade funded accounts. Right. And the reason that's important is because there's skin in the game. Like it's not just an educator, it's skin in the game. Okay. Their skin in the game, which means something. Okay. So here's some examples of one of the systems you will see in the prop program. We teach trend line breaks. We have a software signal system that will signal where to get into the trades. This event is not going to be on every system because we have several that we trade in the prop program. We teach several different signals, several different setups. One of the most famous is the AT Trader. The AT Trader is designed to trade break signals on trend lines, and we use it using multi time frame analysis so that you're on the right side of the break. And normally we're trading against everybody else that's failing. Like the whole goal of the break signals is that you trade trend line breaks where most traders are thinking that the trend's going to continue. We're trading against those people which is one of the reasons why we've had such a huge success rate and a huge strike rate with a lot of traders is because it's unorthodox. This system is an unorthodox strategy. So you, it's kind of like you do what everybody else isn't doing, right? Imagine that, <laughs> right? Another setup that we teach is understanding rotations, how to trade volume rotations using major levels of structure. And you also will learn how to trade volume rotations from key areas of market structure rotations. And we'll be going over how to read volume rotations, how to understand areas of influence with volume. Um, we teach it, we teach you volume conversions, we teach you all of that stuff. <laughs> the big thing here is just making sure that you understand how to use volume profile correctly in the smaller time frames to scalp your entries. Because remember, we're only looking for a few ticks Okay, we're not trying to be right about catching the entire legs of the market. Okay, now another setup we teach is divergence. And there's many ways that we will trade divergence in the program. You will see divergence mainly used as a higher time frame cue. Most people are using divergence as an entry signal. We're not. We're using divergence on the higher time frame 
to tell us where to trade the trend line breaks on the smaller time frame charts. So what we do is we have divergence software that will signal hidden and reversals for trend analysis and reversal systems, but we're not entering on this. Most traders are trying to trade divergence. You could, and we do teach signals, but the majority of our traders are trading divergence, which is leading the trend line breaks so that you have a better edge on your scalping and better edge on the scalping trading charts, okay? And another one that we do is understanding price breaks. So we're gonna teach you how to read price analysis, pure price action, supply and demand reading on charts. Why? Because it can be traded as regular supply and demand, and it can be traded as areas of interest for major levels off of the trend line breaks and other types of volume rotations, okay? And so, this webinar is not to try to teach you every single system. We're not, we don't have enough time to teach you all the, in, the nuances of the trend line breaks. We can't teach you how to trade the volume today. It's just, we can't do all of the signals all at once, but I can assure you that when you're in the program, you will have enough resources and enough time, plus with our weekly AMAs, okay, you're gonna learn it because we not only do the trading classes, we also do weekly AMAs. And those AMAs are going to be there for you to really, really kind of sit back and understand what's going on. It's probably the meat and potatoes of the program is the AMAs because it's where the real, real light bulbs go off. Okay. And we do those every week. Now, this is the solution. This is truly the solution to scale. <laughs> and let me explain something. Okay. Everybody in the business thinks that you need to risk a dollar, okay, to gain three. Everybody thinks they need to get to the home plate every single time. What if I told you that baseball, okay, baseball is won by the teams that are notorious for getting players on first base all the time. Baseball is not won by grand slam hitters. Baseball is won by base hitters getting on base and then stealing to the home plate. And then this guy gets on home base and forces him to this plate. And this guy gets to first base and forces the runner home and they put points on the board. Now, the reason I'm using this analogy <laughs> is because what we do is we're only trying to get on base with every trade. But what happens is when we use trade copy software, which we'll talk about. All we're doing is getting one trade. And every time you take one trade, that's a count one, two, three, four, five. So all you're doing is with one trade, what you're doing is you're, you're basically only trying to get on base with one account. And then that same account every single other account copies those trades. And then what ends up happening is that one trade became multiplied by five. Now let's pretend you took a $100 trade. You just took a small one lot on a micro. You're just getting your bells wet. You're just wetting your whistle, kind of getting, getting your grounds, getting your bearings, coming into the program first couple of days. You don't need to go all guns blaring. You just need to take a little bit of nibble out of the market. Well, most people, like I said, you know, they're like, screw that. I can't make a living off $100 a day. I can't do this. I could make more money selling crackers down the street. You sell lemonade and probably make more, more than $100 a day, right? But the truth is you're not. Because when you times that by five accounts, that $100 trade became $500, and you don't even realize that because you're allowed to do that with a prop firm, you can get your goal met over a little bit of longer period of time without risking a whole lot of money, but you're still making a shit ton because you're doing it at scale with multiple accounts. Does this make sense? Now, I'm going to go through some success and I'll show you a trade I took. I, I took a trade for this example just to kind of show you the power of this, okay? Um, here's some testimonials, guys. We're going to go through some success stories. You know, these Bobby's a great trader. Okay. 
Yeah, well, Richard, possibly how much do you lose? You would lose the same amount, 100 across five accounts. But let me say, let me tell you this, traders are more often not going to overtrade because when they see that scale happen without having to take big hits out of the market, you don't need to trade near as much. You're not having to swing for the fences near as much. And you learn to become a much more selective trader because you realize, hey, I don't even need to take a big trade. I just need a little bit. It just needs to be a better trade. Right. And then what ends up happening is you realize that you have the power to, de to, to rewrite your destiny because you, you change the way you're trading. Okay. You could, you could take one trade. I've had many days in the mornings where I have a pre market trade, a really great pre market trade for like $150 across 10 accounts. It's a $1,500 day. You could stop. You don't, you can just go do something else for the day. I'll show you an example. Okay. Here's a great testimonial. Bobby says, I don't recommend stuff that much. He said, this is ridiculous. I own a lot of software. These have accumulated over 12 years. <clears throat> He's been using the AT system for the last couple of days. I'm astonished by how great this tool is. It's absolutely the most consistent profit producing system he's ever seen. Okay. Here's some examples of some trades. These are trading accounts that, you know, that are being used by, you know, this is his the great example of one of our, our good traders. Okay. We'll go through a bunch of other people too. Okay. Uh, Lone Wolf Trader, right? Tammy, you know, you know, this is, uh, <laughs> this was before we did the relationship with, uh, with Apex, but it is an example of her getting funded. Okay. Uh, another example here is Lee going to call it a day. Not bad today. 1.2 times three funded accounts for a total of $3,600. Right. Um, Arc, I had an unbelievable result. I've been posting screenshots of my trades in Skype room that we have. To, I honestly feel that this is the best trading tool that I've seen in 25 years. Okay. Um, after watching the current AMA, I finally grasped dealing with the micros and a stop loss as well as following the rules. It's like the cheapest, best indicator I've ever seen that works as advertised. Okay. <laughs> here's a great example of guess what? The system works, right? And here's a great example of a trader trading a whole bunch of accounts in one day. That's just one day. But all they did was literally trade, okay, probably a $500 account. Maybe it was slippage on the others, right? But the truth is that this, he was probably trading one leader account, combine that across all the accounts, it becomes a really, really big day, right? Here's another example. <laughs> I only am so excited about this program. I did this on three trades today, knowing that a quarter of what Bobby knows, he said, since the HG trader of averaging $4,200 a day, this is $3,600 in real money. Guys, we'll get to questions after, Okay. One and done, one trade, $200 times nine accounts for an $1,800 day. That's the difference between what most traders are doing, okay? Here's another example. I have nothing but lag issues for the most of the day, but I finally got back up and running and I was able to make insane results. Good day. Here's a great example of a trader. <laughs> Here's a great example of a trader trading for a $500 day times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a five thousand dollar day on one one account. One account managing the other 10, that's a five thousand dollar day and all he had to do is make five hundred dollars. So all he is if your goal is a couple hundred dollars a day and you set up a bunch of follower accounts, we'll teach you how to do that. We'll get you in, we'll get you set up. We have all the videos, all the training how to do all that. Don't feel like it's it's something new you don't know how to learn it. Okay. But I'm here to tell you that this is, this is possible. You only need to make, like, how many of you guys have had a $500 day before? Okay. How many of you guys have had a $500 day before? Let me ask you that. Anybody here had a $500 day? <laughs> if you were doing what we teach and you have, let's say five or 10 accounts, that would be a $5,000 day, but you don't have to over trade. So if you're sitting there saying, well, I want to make $1,000 a day, or I want to make, if your goal is to make $1,000 a day, then all you need to do is set up 10 accounts and you shoot for a $100 day. Like this is the reverse engineering of the math, where if your goal is $1,000 a day, then really all you need to do is get 10 accounts set up and trade for $100 a day. And you're a $1,000 a day trader. That's a $20,000 a month trader. 
making $100 trades. That's it. Every day, 100 bucks gone, 100 bucks gone, 100 bucks gone. It's $1,000 a day. If every day you just stopped, you're up $100, walk away. $1,000. Every day you're up 100 bucks, walk away. It's $1,000 a day. It's $5,000 a week. Do you understand the difference between scale? And you're not even having to trade big size. You could make $100 a day trading one lots on micros, and it becomes $1,000 a day without ever even coming close to your trailing drawdown getting smashed because you're not over leveraging risk. Here's some more success. Like There's a whole lot of traders doing this, guys, in our program, which is why I'm asking you to keep an open mind. I'm not trying to sell you. <laughs> it just depends on the eval cost, Justin. Like Some traders will start with five. Some traders will start with 10. <laughs> Barry, good job, buddy. Here's another great, not bad. First day in the program. <laughs> first day in the program across all of his accounts. That's a big day. The AT Trader is our primary system. Okay. And then we teach the volume rotations and we teach the SD price breaks as the secondaries. Yeah. First day in the prop program, more success. Okay. We're just trying to take screenshots of everybody else that's crushing it. Cause like I could sit here and read testimonies off a website. <laughs> yeah, but David, you're not thinking correctly. You're paying $800 a month, the 10 accounts versus 80 for one. Yeah, but why was that an issue? You make $1,000 in one day. If you're trading 10 accounts, one day pays for the $800 fees for the entire month across all of them. So the math doesn't make sense, David, if you're looking at it from the other side. I understand your question, but what's the issue? You have 10 accounts, one day goes to paying your fees and the other is not. Okay, now <laughs> here's the goal. <clears throat> Nine days, there's something to say about the system. It works. Okay, if you take 100 days, you still make 1,000. Yeah, exactly. Because you get it across 10 accounts. Here's an example, right? This is me, 10 evals. This is recently. I took 10 $50,000 accounts. I just posted the 10 passing evals, trading micros. The target was 3,000. This is, you know, just past 10 evals. I posted that June 16th, right? Okay. Another one, strong week, Troy. He's in sim, getting ready for his evals. He's doing something right. Here's another one, 10 evals. Like there's a reason I'm showing you so many different pictures, guys, because what we're gonna do here is, you know, okay. Well, it's not just one system, Barry, and that's the difference because we're, uh, we're not just talking about one system here, okay? Let me kind of just do something here and let's just, uh, I'm going to move this over. I'm going to show you an example of what this looks like. Here's an example, okay? Now I'm going to show you a few things, okay? Like, here's an example. This is done in SIM for the purpose of this webinar. This is done in SIM for the purpose of this webinar. I'm just going to show you an example of 10. Most traders, what we'll do is we'll say, okay, before you go, okay, uh, before you, before you start going and paying for evals and paying for all that stuff, okay, what I'm going to do is that we're going to get you to set up 10 SIM accounts. You can just do this easily. You come into the program, you spend a week, you set up 10 SIM accounts. We get you to get one of our partner products called the trade copiers, okay? That's what the trade copier is, okay? Then what we're going to do, give me one second, guys. I'm going to turn off the alerts because I've got something bothering me here. i got some alerts popping up. Always goes like that when you're doing an event, so bear with me here. Turning off the alerts, et cetera. So what you do is you just do it. You just, because here's the thing, a lot of traders, they're saying, okay, they get excited. And, and here's, my, here's my job is to, to not get you excited, but to get you really, really, really ready for a new business, okay? Guys, stop hammering the chat box. Listen for a second. Be teachable, okay? Be teachable. Wait for the questions. I'm trying to teach you how to run a business as a prop trader. Okay, I'm not teaching you about products and systems. I'm trying to teach you how this works, okay? 
bear with me for a second. We're going to get you in. You take 10 SIM accounts. You set it up. Okay. 10 SIM accounts. Okay. You practice for a week just running the trade copy software so you're not fumbling with your orders. Okay. The whole goal is so that you don't just start taking evals and just start rushing into the process. Okay. Then what you do is you get good at the setups. So a couple of the trade strategies that we teach, okay, I'll show you an example, is we will teach you, and we'll go into the details here. Well, this is an example of, uh, you know, there was some trades today that came in. Uh, let me just go back here for a second. This was a trade example. This is an example of an area. And, and, and I'm not going to go over all the settings for the signals in the system today, guys. This was a key area for us on the NASDAQ today. Very, very key area. Very key area was coming out of a 15 minute level of demand on the higher time frame charts. But we got signals coming on the AT system. Okay. And I'm going to just delete all the drawing tools here for a second. Okay. This is just one of the systems that we use. It's the AT system. Okay. It's a lot of stuff going on here, a lot of bells and whistles. It's not the, we're not going to do a webinar on the systems today. The whole point is the program. Inside of the program, we've got offers for the systems. We've got offers for all the discounts, everything that's part of what we do. Okay. But this was a key area. I'll give you an example why. This was a very, very key area for the NASDAQ. It was also a very key area for the S&P today. Okay. The S&P came out of this area. And I'm explaining all the trades that were valid on the system today coming out of a key area. This was an area of a 15 minute demand zone that was plotted on the bigger time frames. Okay. So when you come in on a higher time frame level, here was trade number one on the S&P, trade number two on the S&P, trade number three on the S&P, trade number four on the S&P. These were all different signals that hit out of a higher time frame area today. And the only thing you're doing on these, if you're a prop trader, I'll give you an example. A prop trader is not trying to catch the entire move. A prop trader is going to put their order here, put your stop below the swing, have a 0.5 target. 0.5. That's it. You're trading for a crumb. You're not trading for the big swings. Why? Because you need to get good at doing this. Watch this. If the market goes up, okay, and let's say you don't take a profit here, okay? Let's say your target was up here. You want a one-to-one. -one. I need to have a one-to-one -one every time I take a trade. I need to. I need to do those. Oh, my God. Okay, well, guess what? As soon as that market got right there, the evals, your funding evals, your, your trailing drawdowns creeping up, creeping up, creeping up. And as soon as this starts pulling back, guess what? You didn't make any money, but your trailing drawdown in the account went up. So this works against you. If you don't take profits, you will not get through the evals and you will not stay funded. I'm here to tell you the way that the risk management is designed in the prop firms is not for big R multiple traders. It's not designed that way. Guys, I know it's hard to understand risking a dollar to make 50 cents. It's the way it is. Okay. So that would have been a profitable trade. Here's an example of this. This trade barely went in your favor right out the gates, but it doesn't pull your drawdown up right away. 0.5 target. Your stop always goes below the swing. There's your target. Two targets hit. Okay, let's go to the S&P. They came down. They broke it right here. Another trade. Your signal comes in here. Trend line break trade. Your stop goes below the swing pivot. 0.5 R multiple. Target hit. Now, let me explain this. That's 28 bucks per one lot. Okay, so you trade five contracts. Okay, that's $150 per trade. That's a $68 profit. But let me explain this. You're thinking in your mind, well, that's peanuts, 68 bucks. I only made 68 bucks. No, you didn't. $68 times 10 accounts, that's a $680 trade. The reason you're taking quick targets is because you're scaling lots of accounts. You're not trying to hit it big with one account. 
And none of the other prop firms allow you to do this, but Apex. The only one that comes somewhat close is Lilu, but they do not allow you to do it at scale with funded accounts. So what's the freaking point? This is the point we argued with them. They wouldn't listen. Okay. Another example of a really great trade was this volume rotation on the five minute. We teach this. Okay. We teach this a volume trade. We're going to teach different signals and different setups. We'll talk about a few different things. The reason this was a powerful trade for volume rotations is that it closed above structure. So this is actually a rotation of market structure with conviction. So we wrap our profiles around this area. We'll see the point of control and we'll take those volume point of control lifts with your stop below the value area low. And this was a really good trade. Okay. This is also a level of demand. This is also a level of demand that came in here, which is where I got long on it. Okay. Just for the sake of teaching you this environment, I got long right there. Could have taken a volume profile entry. This is the other entry here, but this is also a demand zone entry here. We teach two different types of price breaks and volume rotations in the AMAs. And one of the things you will learn is you will learn how to trade price breaks and you will learn how to trade volume rotations out of key areas of interest. 0.5 R multiple, boom, done. That was a $128 trade. And if you did that across 12, 10 accounts, that's an $1,800 day in one trade. You just need to get good at what you're doing versus trying to make a whole lot of money. Most people are trying to make a whole lot of money and that's the problem. They're forcing the outcome versus getting good at trading. And I'm here to tell you that you don't actually need to be an amazing trader to make a lot of money as long as you understand what you're doing and you just need to exploit the pattern. So I understand everybody wants to learn the systems. Everybody wants to learn, give me the signal, show me where to make money. guys. This business is not about the system. It's a combination of scaling accounts, using trade copiers, using the systems, and managing the risk with very, very tight objectives and a high strike rate. And if you do that, if you do that, I can assure you, you will see a completely different outcome that you've ever experienced, ever experienced. Well, that's a great question. We'll get into the questions in a minute. So let me go back here and talk a little bit about, um, let's go back here and talk about this. Move this over here for a second. We'll go over some questions. I just want 100 to $200 a day from the best entry system out there. Is this it? Barry, there's no such thing as the best entry system, but I've got some killer ass systems. And they're not just one, we teach a few entries. And the reason I know they're really, really good is because I got a lot of trading success across. Even the worst traders are successful right now. I've got a lot of people that were never successful ever in their lives until they came into this program, which is why this is our trading room has maintained the, the, the amount of users in it. Like normally we'll have trading rooms and programs and the fluctuation of members comes and goes like traders will come and they don't see the success right away because something happens. And then all of a sudden they just drop off. We've been able to maintain a very, very high retention in our trading room for this program for a reason. And I'm not here to just try to sell you a trading room. This is not a trading room. This is not a system. This is a prop program. It involves trading rooms. It involves AMAs. It involves several different systems. You don't have to use them all at once, but you can choose which one you want to trade based off the AMAs that we've, we've done. And you can find the one that you feel most comfortable with. A lot of traders will trade the AT signals with the volume rotations and the SD price rate breaks just depends on what you're looking for, right? But we'll teach you which one is best based off what you like to do, right? And uh, the only way to know that is to come into the trade room for a couple of days or even a week uh, and, 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 and find your bearings. You're not gonna just rush into a system because this is a business of prop trading. This is not a business of just selling the next shiny indicator, okay? So, what do you really want, right? And well, I'm gonna tell you something, okay? And I always like to just kind of revisit this slide and talk a little bit about this. Everybody thinks this is the answer. 
everybody wants the nice car and the nice house and more time with family. And I want to travel the world and be a digital nomad. How many of you guys can relate with this? You want a better lifestyle? You want all of this stuff, right? Okay, everybody here, you can relate with this, right? I'm assuming something on this list is appealing to you. Can you guys give me a yes or no? Anything on this list appeal to you in reality? Anybody here want more time with family, more money, right? Exit the rat race. You want to get a better lifestyle, all that stuff? Like, okay, I get it. Well, I'm here to tell you that none of that matters because the problem, the problem is this. You're focusing on the wrong things. You need to get good at making consistent money. And what happens with traders is they're always trying to end a thousand dollar days or more. Thousand dollars a day is a good paycheck. But what if I can teach you how to trade for just a few ticks every day? Okay. And your goal is actually a hundred dollars a day. And you do that times 10 accounts, which means you only need to get on first base. You only need to get on first base, okay? Get on first base, and then you can make that every single day if you just get good at doing this, okay? And that's the key. That's the key. Okay, so give me a yes that this is kind of like a breath of fresh air for you guys. Anybody in here kind of, kind of willing to kind of open your mind a little bit now and kind of maybe join a community of people that are really, really doing some big things? I know that there's a lot of programs out there. There's a lot of systems, a lot of courses, all of that stuff. I get it, guys. I see it. I'm a vendor. I know this. The difference is, is that there isn't a lot of prop programs out there. There's not a lot of companies that have developed a method or program specifically for getting funded and staying funded for prop program. That's just the reality. Okay. So what I'm here to do is I'm here to give you an opportunity. Okay. Everything in our prop program. Okay. If you were to combine systems, trade rooms, AMAs, educators, trade copiers, all that fun stuff, you're looking at thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, but we're not doing that. Okay. We're not doing that. Okay. We're breaking this down so that we can be reasonable in terms of timelines as well as deliverables. Okay. Within the program, you're going to get the course. The course is going to teach you how to set up everything. You're going to get, you're going to get all access to the training videos, all of the programs, the methods, the tools, the AMAs, the classrooms, et cetera. Okay. You'll be able to come in and trade with the live funded traders, real traders trading funded accounts, not messing around. Like they're not sitting there trying to say, hey, did you catch that trade? Blah, 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 blah. This is a funding company. This is a, we work with funding companies for a reason to get funded traders funded, to get prop firm traders through their evals and stay in their performance accounts. Okay. Now, the strategies, I know you guys, you guys are all sitting in your tunnel vision. Show me the setups. Show me the setups. Guys. That's why you're not making money right now. You're so focused on the entry. You need to understand the process. And this is the reality. Most people are not willing to stop what's not working for them. Take down the blinders. Take down the tunnel vision. Let us get you in. Set up the tools. Set up the process. Set up the trade copiers. Teach you the signals on the AT trader. Teach you the signals on the volume rotations. Teach you the signals on the price breaks. Then you'll say, okay, you know, I really, really like the volume rotations best because I understand it easier. It's easier for me to trade. Perfect. That'll be your signature trade. That'll be what you focus on. You say, you know what? I really love the AT system. You guys are crushing it on the AT signals. I always like seeing my trades in advance. So I'm not reacting. I can plan my levels. Okay. Then that'll be your go-to. They're both available. You'll be able to do both. Okay. Now that's what we're going to do. We're going to teach you that. Okay. The key is you get access to our private Discord communities. And inside of our Discord communities, you're going to see traders posting their trades, communicating, adding value, breaking things down. You're not alone ever. Even if the classroom's down and it's closed for the day, it's over. You can go into the Discord. 
Okay. No, there's, well, it's a few systems, Meyer. Like most of our traders trade a combination of the volume rotations and the AT signals. So, and it depends on the market. Most of our traders are trading the S&P, the NASDAQ and crude oil as the primaries, right? Just depends. And uh, most of them are trading micros. Micros, because there's more volume on the micro contracts sometimes than the, the mains. And it's also better for the evals. Okay. Now, indicators and tools. We've partnered with ARC. We've partnered with Replicanto. We've partnered with a few other companies. Neurostreet's throwing in some free indicators as well. There are some systems that you will need to make a decision on inside the program, okay? We've developed discounts. So this is the key, guys. The only way to get the systems and the software and the tools that are being used in the back end of the program is to be a member of the prop program. If you're not a member of the prop program, you would need to go to these companies and buy their, you would pay more for the evals. We've got better pricing for the evals than anywhere else. Uh, we also have discounts on trade copiers, which are not available anywhere else, okay? And uh, that's only available inside of the prop program. Like you can't get the discounts unless you're a member of the prop program. That's just the reality, okay? All of our instructors build out all of the resources. So everything that we do, everything that we're doing in the back end, all of the indicators, the settings, the tools, all of that's pre-built. You don't have to try to figure stuff out. We can even do a remote install, go on your computer and set you up, okay? So you don't have to feel like you got to figure it out on your own. And we're always putting out content every week, which means every week we have AMAs, okay? Every week we have AMAs and you will then be able to come in, ask questions, do that and basically make it so that you can go through the details with the instructors, myself included. I'm always a part of that, always a part of that, okay? So it's important to note that the ARC software is a separate purchase but we've arranged for the discounts if you're in the prop program because it's a different company, right? We're, we're a partner with them. The funding evals, that's Apex. Everybody's got to pay for the evals, but we've arranged for special discount pricing. The trade copier software, we've got discounts from both Apex and Replicanto, just depends on which one you want to use. And uh, ultimately you'll be able to get the discounts in the back end for that, okay? So, what we'll do is we will offer this on a quarterly subscription. So you're not paying thousands of dollars. You don't have to pay for some mega, mega, mega course. It's a very inexpensive price to join a program of elite traders with lots of users who are crushing it. And everybody in there is in the, in the evals and the funded accounts. Lots of funded traders, lots of traders going through the evals. This is an environment for that. You don't want to be sitting by yourself trying to figure this out. And you're, you want to be around other funded traders, guys, because it's kind of like success breeds success. Like if you want to be a good at sports, you want to be with a team. If you want to be healthy, you want to go to the gym where other people are being healthy. You don't sit in McDonald's, right? So what I'm going to do, Jim, you there? You got the link. You can post it in the chat box. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Let me do that here in just a second. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm not a time waster, right? I'm not here to try to waste your time or mine, guys. Like, I'm involved heavily on the prop program. Trading accounts, performance accounts, vows, doesn't matter what you're doing, guys. I just need to know, are you in? Are you in it to win it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a poll, okay? Because we're going to be doing another AMA again this Thursday. I believe it's Thursday, eh, Jim? Yeah. Okay? And you want to be in for this. Like you want to be getting into the programs and being a part of these AMAs, because if not, you're going to miss Ask Me Anything. An AMA is a program event where we, we're opening up this week's AMA for you guys if you're coming in, because all of the AMAs are for private members. So normally you would have to be a paid member to be in the AMA, and we've opened it up for you guys to come in this week. Okay, but you definitely want to be involved in the program. You need to get involved, right? Because if not, you're going to be missing out. You're not going to get the account set up. You're not going to be able to scale what we're talking about, et cetera. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a poll. $4.95 for three months is a whole lot better than paying 15 grand for everything that's inside the program. And then you can choose which of the signals you want to trade based off the, the room and based off of the eight, uh, based off of the AMAs that we've done. 
And then if you need assistance, we can always answer those questions on Thursday as well. So I'm gonna run this poll, guys. Chalapatha, just posted the link. All right, not sure who that. <laughs> Chalapatha just posted the link as well. Okay, so I'm gonna let, I'm gonna run a poll, guys. I need to know if you're in. You in it to win it or not? I'm not here to waste your time. I'm here to get you through the evals, and I'm here to get you funded. I'm not here to give you some tools and just play here, figure it out on your own. Okay. And if you're not sure yet, my question would be, why not? Are you still on the fence because you don't think success is possible? I'm a bold person, guys, because I deal with funded traders all the time. I got guys making fifty to seventy-five thousand dollars a month, a month trading performance accounts. Okay, I'm not here to waste people's time, and I really have no time for people that are like all like, oh, I don't know what I want to do. Like, guys, there's a whole lot of people that are doing big things. We don't really want to hang around with a bunch of skeptics. I got no time for that. Jim, do you got time to hang around with a bunch of naysayers? <laughs> no, trading's hard enough as it is. I don't need anybody raining on my parade. Right. <laughs> right. If you want to be a part of winners, hang around with winners, guys. Yeah. Right. If you want to join a little, you know, says, okay, let me go. What apex level do you uh, Well, that's a mathematical question, Murthy, which you would only know if you would be in our program. We're going to tell you the easiest and most mathematical spread to risk on drawdown to profit ratio is the $50,000 evals. Normally you want the $50,000 evals because it's the easiest to get funded with the biggest drawdown to target ratio. Most people are always aiming for those really, really big evals, but they don't really realize that uh, the mathematics don't make sense. The mathematics don't make sense. The, the risk to trading performance profit to trailing drawdown is, is skewed against you. So this is, you wouldn't know these things because most people, um, most people don't realize that like, they just, they just want, they just see that, that bargaining power, that buying power. Oh my God, I get $300,000 account. No, you don't. You get a, a $6,000, $5,000 trailing drawdown and you can only trade peanut size and it doesn't make any sense. You're better off trading the 50K eval getting funded right away and trading micro lots on small size because you have a bigger drawdown. You have a little bigger drawdown allowance. Okay. You're better off trading with smaller size, yeah. Let's see, I got a bunch of people writing questions here. The bar part, well, the AT signal system, it just depends if you want the AT system. The trade copier is normally the range anywhere. We can get you Apex trade copiers for 30% off. They don't do discounts at all for trade copiers. We're the only vendor that allows it. So you can get discounts on Apex trade copiers for 30% off. You can get Replicanto trade copiers. I think they've got a discount as well, 20% off. I'm not sure. The Replicantos mm -hmm. will allow you to trade uh, uh, different. You, you, you need an eval with Apex though. So the difference between Apex and, and Replicanto is that if you don't pay for the evals, you can get a Replicanto trade copier and uh, you can trade SIM accounts without having to pay your evals first and foremost, which is... I normally suggest that unless you've already got evals and then you can just use the Apex. We have to sign up with the program first. Then we can see the discounts on some of the tools. I already have some evals and copy just eat. Yeah, John, you, uh, I think they've, they, we've reserved the launch discount. So I think the prop program has the launch pricing, which you would only ever get if you bought the software on the launch. So the only way to get the best pricing is to be the member of the program. Yeah. It's like a Costco, right? You get the best at everything you need to have a membership, right? It's the reality, but you get access to classes and you get access to funded traders and it's a win-win for everybody, right? Yeah. The classrooms, the education, there is software. So Neural Street's provided free software. Uh, you get access to, uh, I believe you get the easy algo as well, Jim. You get mm -hmm. the risk management yep. software, the trade execution software comes with it. Uh, all of that stuff's part of the program. Neural Street's ponied up on that. And, uh, you know, all of the stuff, uh, the AT systems and stuff are separate. Yeah. No problem, Eric. I understand. The easy algo is the risk management software, yeah. The AMA this week, is that open to everyone? Everybody. Cool. 
So yeah, to get into that, let me um, let me post the link in here for everybody. So if you guys want to come in and join us, and we're going to be going over strategy too, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. yeah so I mean, if you really want to get and... get a good sneak behind the curtain, uh, this is your opportunity to do it. You can see how these traders trade and get a better feel for it. Yeah. And go over some pretty in depth stuff. This is not just you know, oh, the average is crossover by here. No, this is really really sophisticated training strategy that you'll you'll pick up yeah and the other thing too is is if you're ready to join you'll be able to come in and trade with us over the next couple of days live in the trade room with roy and, and bobby and myself like it's three hands on guys mm -hmm. uh i know we sound we may we i know we're selling a program here but the reality is like this is this is cutting edge like when it comes to prop prop trading like this is the real deal yeah this is as real as it gets yeah so got a lot of people, uh, you know, Jim, I'll get you to pull that poll and you can follow up with those that ask for, uh, for some connections on that, some, some mm -hmm. communication. For those of you that asked Jim to reach out, he'll reach out to you guys. And for those of you that said you're in it, you're joining right away. Good decision. It's a very smart decision. And I say that with utmost confidence because I know what we've done in here and I know what's being done across the board. So I can assure you will not be disappointed. I can assure you that. Okay. So guys, I want to thank you for your time. Okay. We'll put the links back in there, Jim, maybe one more time for both. Yeah. Okay. If you are uh, in need of assistance, we're here to help you. Right. Um, and we're also here to help you get to your goals. We're here. To, yeah. This is not the gold program, Dominic. This is not NeuroStreet's gold program. This is a combination between NeuroStreet, ARC, and Apex. Yeah. It's a combination. And NeuroStreet's provided a bunch of free tools as part of your subscription because NeuroStreet's providing the trader, trade rooms, the education portals, the educators, the funded traders that are trading in front of you. The, the discounts that we've arranged with Apex and ARC is for, uh, yeah, on Apex, I'm not sure, Barry. I, I'm not sure what's on the back end, to be honest. I, I just know that we've got discounts ongoing. It never ends. Whereas sometimes their discounts end. We never, our discounts never end. Yeah. Yeah. It's 55% off the emails. Once you're a part of this program, you get 55% off the emails from Apex and that's for good. Like always. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't change month two or anything like that. Yeah. But guys, you can get funded in 10 days. Like, you know, honestly, like Jim, like I took that SD price strategy that we were teaching mm -hmm. and I did it on purpose. I started 10 evals and in 10 days I got funded on it. Right. Yep. Like, 10 winning days in a row and like, yeah, it's not easy. There was some drawdowns and stuff, but guys, it's possible and we can help you do it. You just got to make a decision, get off the fence, get rid of that monkey on your back saying, I'm not sure, you know, I see another van to go into the system. No, no. no. If you want to trade for a prop firm, you need to be in an environment, right? You need to be in an environment with funded prop, prop traders. Like that's just the reality. You need to do that. Like you need to be around traders that are trading funded accounts and watch what they're doing and seeing how they're managing risk, right? That's good, Barry. That's amazing. Yeah, very good. Good job. NQ. NQ is a bad boy market, man. If you know it, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Send me an email, Barry. I'd love to chat. Love to shoot you. Love to shoot it up. Shoot me an email. You got my email? Not sure if you got my email. It's just okay. Sean at yeah, NS Trading. I'll type it in real quick for you. Yeah, shoot me an email. Let's set up a Zoom. Let's chat. Yep, I'm here to help too, folks. If you if you need anything, always always happy to help out. You know. So Prince says, "I want to join, but I'm a complete newbie to futures." Excellent. We have everything from A to Z to get you started in this business. Guaranteed, mm -hmm. we can get you started as a futures trader. We are futures trading. <laughs> like that's just. <laughs> Like Neuro Street is all about futures trading. That's what we do. We don't dabble in the Forex market. We, we have Forex courses. We have stocks and options programs and stuff, but we dominate futures. Like that's our bread and butter. Yeah. Excellent. NT8 is good. We are masters on the platform. Masters. We can help you. Traders, I want to thank you for your time. We're going to shut down the event, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. And for those of you that are joining, I'll see you tomorrow in the classroom with all of our instructors. Take care. Barry, shoot me an email today. We'll set up a Zoom.
Sounds good. Take care, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Please advise if we pay for it and we get funded. No. So with the, we are not the funding company. We are an educator that's going to teach you how to get funded and stay funded. We teach you the strategies. We provide the systems. We show you the hand-holding. We trade in front of you. We show you how we're trading. We do all the heavy lifting. The funding company provides the capital. Yeah. Once you pass their evals. And we teach you how to do that. That's how you join. 495 gets you into the trading room. Yeah. For three months. Yeah. All right, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Thanks. Hope you learned something. Hope you found that valuable.